Hello and welcome to A Little Big Knits. This is a podcast about knitting primarily and normally I would be uh, sharing my knits with you um, in a regular podcast but today is not a regular podcast. This is kind of a special edition for those people who participated in two of our knit along crochet alongs last year in 2020. If you'd like to watch a regular episode, uh, feel free to go back to my previous episode, which was last week, or wait for the next one, or you're absolutely welcome to to watch uh, and join in on, on uh, what we're gonna be talking about here today. It's just not gonna be a regular episode. I just want you to know that. So last year we had two knit along crochet alongs. One was called the Garment Galore Cal and the other one was called the It's About Time Cal. And I'm going to be presenting the prizes to the people who participated in those knit alongs. So uh, using number generator, I um, in both of the threads for each of the knit alongs, in the finished object thread as well as in the chatter thread, I random using random number generator, I chose um, numbers that uh, would be paired with a uh, giveaway prize. So before we get into that, uh, I just want to say first of all thank you to everybody who participated in in those two knit along crochet alongs. Um, it was really really uh, wonderful to see the participation both in the chatter thread as well as in the finished object threads. Um, it was so inspiring and sent me often and I'm sure others as well to uh, looking for patterns and yarns as well. So it was just very very inspiring and fun and I hope you had a good time doing it. I hope you came out of it if you participated um, you know with uh, items that you were able to enjoy, that you enjoyed making, that you enjoy wearing or using or that you were able to give to somebody and uh, especially for the it's about time uh, Cal, I hope that you were able to use some deep stash uh, for, for that particular Cal. So what I'm going to do is go uh, through each one um, and the prizes for that one. And what I'll do is start with the Garment Galore Cal, which was a knit along, crochet along about garments. So it had to be um, an adult size garment and it could be anything as far as a garment goes. I'm sorry, I had a little blank there for a second. Um, it could be a sweater, a vest, a, a skirt, a dress, a pair of pants. In fact, there were some. And um, yeah, it was, it was really, really great. Um, so accessories weren't included and baby items weren't included either. So um, we had 1,129 entries into that uh, finished object thread, which is great. That means that there are 1,129 new sweaters, at least in the world. There are way more than that, but uh, but it is pretty uh, amazing. There are lots of wonderful entries, and when I was going through looking for um, the numbers associated with uh, with what came up in the uh, number generator, I was just like, oh yeah, that's such a beautiful sweater. Oh, that was amazing. It was just so inspiring to look through. So congratulations to everybody. So. Um, in the finished object thread for this uh, knit along, there are three prizes and then there's one prize for the chatter thread. And the first prize uh, that will be drawn for the Garment Galore Cal is this quantity, rather large quantity of yarn by Annie Parin. Um, so the first is three skeins of this beautiful single ply in this kind of taupey colorway. So there are three of those, as well as some Surrey silk lace. And these are in the ceramic colorway or ceramic colorway. And so together, the alpaca and the single ply could be knit up into a rather stunning sweater, or they could be used separately, but they are together as a rather amazing prize. And this is going to post number 967, which is Aegis Dottir. And now what I'll do is put the name down here. 
Paige Stotir is in Iceland and has won that prize. And um, what had she had made is a lovely Felix sweater. So congratulations to you. Please get in touch with me so that I can get your address. You can get in touch with me through Ravelry, through Instagram if you like. Um, either way, uh, get in touch with me and give me your address uh, so that I can send that to you. And just a reminder, please don't put your address down here in YouTube um, because I wouldn't want that to become uh, public knowledge. So just make sure that you write to me either in Ravelry or on Instagram. So congratulations to Aegis Dutter for that first prize. The next prize for the Garment Galore Cal uh, is this yarn from the Fiber Company in their Meadow Base, and this is the Bellflower Colorway. Um, I have made a sweater out of the, I can't remember what the, no, the color is, uh, but it's a red color. Uh, I made my Edie out of it. It's beautiful yarn. So uh, this is going to Elena777, who um, was, which was number, post number 907. Sorry, I'm feeling very clumsy this morning. <laughs> so post number 907, which is Elena777, you have won this yarn. So please get in touch with me. Elena77 made the rug sweater. And this is kind of funny. The first two prizes uh, go to people who made same things I made this year. I made a Felix that last year as well as a rug last year. Elena's rug is gorgeous. Um, and uh, yeah, so congratulations to you. Please be in touch with me so that I can send this off to you. The last prize uh, in the Garment Galore finished object thread goes to post number 708, which is Dorf 4 Dorf 4 made a, a lovely striped sweater called The Daily by Andrea Mowry. And Dorf, you are winning this skein of beauty. Um, this is actually a Canadian, 100% Canadian yarn from the Custom Woolen Mills. And uh, this is a 30% pure Canadian wool and 30% nylon, and it's called Slate Purple. And it's a beautiful purpley, charcoaly, deep blue kind of color. It's really stunning. So, Dedor 4, congratulations. You have won this skein. Please get in touch and I will send this off to you. And then I picked one person from the chatter thread and this person will be winning a pattern of their choice from Marsha Healy, also known as Fairy Little. Marsha has lots of patterns in her pattern store and has generously offered up uh, a pattern for you. So the winner here from the chatter thread is post number 524, which is uh, Diana 647. So Diana 647, Please get in touch with me and I will uh, I will let uh, Marcia know that you have one and then you can go through her store and decide what you might like from there. So congratulations to those people in the Garment Galore Cal who have won. And I'd say congratulations to everybody for the beautiful makes that you made last year as well. So thank you again for your participation in that. Now on to the It's About time cal so the it's about time cal was really about using things that had been in our stash whether it be yarn or patterns that had been languishing and sitting there and quietly calling our name um so this could be yeah as i said yarn or pattern so or sometimes both and we had 844 entries in the uh, It's About Time Cal for the finished objects. And there was everything, because here it really didn't matter what the item was. Uh, it could be socks or hats or clothing and baby clothing, absolutely anything, toys. Uh, so there really was a plethora of all kinds of things in there and also lots of fun. And I know it was motivating for me to use up some older stash. And uh, and I think it was motivating for all those people, too. So I'm glad we were able to get some things that we've been wanting to make for a long time um, actually made. So 
The first prize is a skein of woolly mammoth yarns, uh, as well as this little stitch mark um, progress keeper of this little kitty cat that comes from my collection. So this is a skein of DK weight yarn from Woolly Mammoth in a 50% BFL and 50% Cheviot wool. It's um, all from the UK and there are 200 meters in there in here of this glorious, it's coming up a little bit more orange. I would say it's a bit more rust in real life. Um, so this goes to number post number 705 from the It's About Time Cal, which is Hey Carrie Ann. So congratulations, Hey Carrie Ann. Now, Hey Carrie Ann had some, she posted several wonderful men's sweaters that uh, were always uh, being fashioned by a lovely smiling young man. And the, the sweater that she was, the pattern that she was using for these men's sweaters was called Learn to Knit a Men's Sweater. Um, so that was actually uh, very neat. I'm, I'm hoping to look more into that um, to see what kinds of recommendations they have for knitting a men's sweater. So again, please be in touch with me, Carrie Ann, and uh, I'll send this off to you. The next prize is uh, a skein of this lovely yarn. Oh, and I forgot to say that with the custom woolens will go some stitch markers as well from uh, Whimsy Sassy. I forgot to mention that earlier. That's gonna go with the custom woolens. Um, so from Arctic Crafts came a wonderful skein called Resilience. Um, I had gotten this specifically for the podcast. And uh, this is a 80% Coriadale, 20% nylon. And I used her Poledale, which was Poleworth and Coriadale sock yarn um, last year, and I really loved it. So I'm sure that you're going to enjoy this number 349 from the <laughs> FO thread. And that is Peg MCC. So Peg Mc. <laughs> Congratulations. You made the Markley tee, which is a pattern by um, Elizabeth Doherty and a lovely, lovely sweater. So even though it's funny because even though this was the It's About Time uh, Cal, there were some sweaters in there as well. And those are the ones that happened to be uh, happened to win. So please be in touch with me, Peg MCC, and I'll be sending this off to you. Um, it also will come with some fun little stitch markers. Uh, that uh, that you can use. So there we go. And then the last prize for the uh, It's About Time finished object thread is this Buku pouch. You've heard me talk about Buku a lot. Um, and I bought a couple of pouches last year, uh, one for uh, my friend Kate and then the other one for the podcast. And so this pouch, which is it's a bit of a funny size. You can use it as a notions pouch. It could be for a very small project or you can use it for something else as well, but it's just, her work is so beautiful. So I'm very happy to be sharing this. And inside there are some, some stitch markers, these rose gold stitch markers. And there is a tucked woolens um, hand balm, which I absolutely love. I have used up uh, quite a few of these in the last few months. Um, I just absolutely love Tuft Woolens, and this is the Espresso Vanilla fragrance. So this pouch is going to number 31, post number 31, which is Marie Knits A Lot. So congratulations, Marie Knits A Lot. Um, you made a very adorable pink children's sweater with a cloud in front and a couple of raindrops. Very, very cute. Um, and uh, so yeah, so there you go. So those are the three prizes for the finished object thread. I also have um, a pattern prize for the chatter thread and it goes to number 164, which is more socks. And the pattern that you will be winning is one that was gifted to me as well. And then she's also given up one as a prize from Yulia Pell. Yulia, Yulia is also the host of the uh, Happy Knitting podcast, 
and uh, designs here and there. And she designed a sock pattern called the Candles and Coffee Socks. So that will be for you, more socks. I hope you'll enjoy the pattern. So congratulations to everybody. I am uh, glad that we had a wonderful year of knit-alongs. Sorry, it's taken me a little bit long to actually um, get this together, but uh, here I am. And uh, hopefully you will all be getting in touch with me either through Ravelry or Instagram so that I can get your prizes to you. This year we have so far uh, one knit along, uh, the color play knit along, and I will be announcing uh, another knit along for sure um, in the uh, coming month or so that uh, will be starting uh, for the remainder of the year. So, or maybe not quite in a month or so, but in a little bit. Um, so look out for that. And I hope you'll join me in the current color play cal as well where we are spending time uh, doing color play knitting whether it be brioche or stranded knitting or um, shadow knitting double knitting uh, mosaic knitting so yeah so there you go friends i hope i didn't uh, whiz through that too too quickly <laughs> or too too slowly but uh, congratulations to everybody. Uh, happy knitting to you, because that is really our main goal. And it's wonderful to be able to create a little bit of community as well. So have a good day, and uh, we'll see you in the next real episode in the next week or two. Take care. Bye-bye.